We be the warriors The most high sin So you know there is no destroying us Ordained from the womb Prophets back from the tomb To cast out all these false doctrines Shalom brothers and sisters We with Israel united in Christ And we come out here to show our people Who they are according to the Bible You are descendants of the Israelites That the Bible speak of yeah, You are descendants of Jacob you are from the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. So we come out here to bring the truth to our people. We come out here to bring the truth to our people, to bring solutions to our community. You see all these churches, on, you see a church on every block, but look at how bad the community look. But the church looking like, looking like a mansion. You know what I'm saying? There's something wrong with that. They supposed to be feeding the flock, but it look like they feeding themselves. So we're going to bring the solutions to our people. They got a lot of questions on why did we go into slavery? Why are we in the condition that we in? So we come out here to bring the truth to our people. Read what you got, up. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It's saying ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. What is the truth? Do you think it's talking about not telling a lie? You think that's what the truth you gonna know? We gonna see what the Bible say the truth is. That's, right. that's what we gonna do. We gonna go to the Bible. The scriptures say subdue your own understanding. Quit listening to what people tell you. Going to church every Sunday, listen to pastor, but your Bible in the wonder of your car with dust on it. Right. You're not subduing your own understanding. So we're going to let you know what the truth is according to the scriptures. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So the law is the truth. So when they say you should know the truth, you're going to know these laws. And when you do these laws, you're going to be set free from your condition that you're in. You in the condition you in for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. So what's how you think you're going to get out of these conditions? By keeping them. That's the only way we're going to ever get above these nations. We got to come back to this Bible. We got to come back to this Bible. Because we got blessings for obedience and the Bible give you curses for disobedience. But how you think you bless in disobedience? I think if, if you ask me, I say that was the devil right there. Because when he tempted Christ, he took him up on the high belt and said, I'll give you all the kingdom of this world if you bow down and worship me. So, so if you think you blessed in disobedience, you need to check your spirit. You need to check that. Because it's say like, uh, Satan himself can disguise himself as an angel of light. But he ain't going to deceive the very elect. If it were possible, he would, but he ain't. So we're going to give you the reason why our community in the shape that it's in. We're under curses for disobeying the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Bring it out. Give me uh, one and one first. So we're going to see who these curses apply to in the Bible. So we're going to help you identify your nationality. That's right. Deuteronomy. Chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So these are the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. So this is who Deuteronomy is for. You Israelites. You don't know that you Israelites because you've been disconnected from your heritage. You've been discontinued from your heritage. You don't know that you the Israelites. If I ask the, natural, uh, the average black man what's his nationality, he gonna say African American. Leo Scipio Africanus was a Roman general. Uh, uh, Amerigo Vespucci, a Spanish mail maker. How you descend from two white men? How do you descend from two white men? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day 
that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it's saying we don't hearken unto his commandments. All these curses going to come upon us and overtake us. But it's a flip side to that. If you do do them, if you do do them, you're going to be put high above all these nations. If you do do them, you're going to have the blessings of the most high. So you in you under curses for disobedience right now. The Lord chose you to be a special people unto himself. But we want to seek after our own hearts. Read, read what you got up. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people to the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Now, now, equal, equal to all people. Above all people. See, that's a lie from Martin Luther King. You trying to be equal. You trying to get comfortable in the land of your captivity. But you went into captivity for breaking the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High. Speak it up. Uh, Jeremiah. So our people trying to be equal. You trying to uh, march for civil rights. You trying to do everything. But what the Bible say, we the tribe marching, we tired of marching. We threw with Martin Luther King. We finna show you why. Read. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophecy lies in my name. So he prophesied lies in, his, in the name of the Lord. And what he say? What? Saying, I have a dream. I have dreamed. So he said, he dreamed, he dreamed. Talking about we supposed to be equal. And he called himself a reverend. If he was a reverend and knew this Bible, and he didn't know we was the Israelites, he would have been saying, we equal to everybody but the Israelites. He didn't know what he was talking about. He wasn't coming out this Bible. He prophesied lies in the name of the Lord. You trying to be equal. But look what the Most High said. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. To be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we was created to be above all people that are on the face of the earth. That's right. But we stuck in this mentality. We come out here to turn down these strongholds. We come to turn down these strongholds that have been placed on our people. This devil, this Caesar Boucher devil right here, we come to root it out. Right. Me rooted out. That's what's going on in your churches. They just cutting over the top of the weed. And you wonder why the weed's still growing up. They ain't getting the root. We come to root it out. That's we right. killing these problems by the root. That's, right. That's what we came out here to do. Read. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. See, I have this day set over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to root out. And to pull down. And to pull down all these false lives that our people following. All these strongholds that's on our people, man. Read. And to destroy. And to throw down. And to build. And to plant. So you see that? Not only do we come out here to turn down, we come to build you up the right way. Yes. And plant. Plant the right seeds. That you may have a good harvest. Instead of having weeds. Problem harvests. So we're going to go into these curses Because we expound on these curses To help you identify With you being the chosen people Of the Most High God And all these things happening to you Because you in disobedience as a nation of people That's right Deuteronomy chapter 28 Verse 25 The Lord shall cause thee To be smitten before thine enemies the Lord calls you to be smitten before our enemies. We have no assurance of our life. I know y'all, a lot of y'all riding up and down the street now like, I hope I don't get pulled over. Man, ain't no telling what these police going to do to me. You ride through these bad neighborhoods like, man, I wonder is there some gangs over here. We don't have no assurance of our life. We smitten before our enemies, but look, but look at how we smitten before our enemies. Read. Zachariah. Chapter 11, verse 5. 
whose possessors slay them. It's like whose possessors slay them. You property. What's your last name? What is your last name? Who you trace your last name back to? The family that own your family, the, the slave masters that own your family. That's right. You ain't gonna trace your name back to the, the true Israelite, your true Hebrew name that the Most High gave you. You was discontinued from your heritage for disobedience. Yes, sir. So now we to try, you wanna try marching. So now somebody kill you, you wanna say hands up, don't shoot. But y'all some hypocrites. Cause y'all shooting each other up and down the streets. All day we killing each other. But soon as another nation kill us, now his hands up, don't shoot. You are some hypocrites. So, you remind me of somebody in this Bible right here. Because soon as uh, Tyrone killed Lil Bobo, it's no snitching. It's no snitching all day long. But soon as one of them kill us, you know what I'm saying? You want to march. You want to lay in the street. You want to wear Black Lives Matter t-shirts. Bring it out. But one of y'all probably just shot somebody with a Black Lives Matter t-shirt on. That's, some, that's hypocrisy right there. So we're going to see what goes on with this hypocrisy. Uh, Christ says something about this right here. Read. Matthew chapter 5 verse 20. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter the kingdom of heaven. So it said, unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the Pharisees, you ain't going to know why it's entering to the kingdom. So how is your righteousness going to exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees? Matthew chapter 23, verse 3. Oh, therefore, whatsoever they bid, or they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they... For they say and do not. So it said they say and do not. That's just like you talking about some don't kill us, but you killing each other. Yes, Your righteousness got to see the righteousness of the Pharisees. You just like them. You just like them. You trying to teach them not to kill you, but you killing you. Yes, you ain't going to get the kingdom like that. Yeah, unless your righteousness is seed, they righteousness. So now you got, oh, uh, hands up, don't shoot. So now you want to march. So we're going to see, because you, you got that Martin Luther King mentality. You don't know that this fall in the curses that was going to happen to you for disobedience. But like the song say, everybody got a Bible, but nobody ever read it. It's in your wonder right now. Collecting dust, just like that cross around your neck. It's all for show. It's all for show. Because when these laws come out, it's a whole different story. When keeping these laws come out, it's a whole different story. That's right. Our people honor him with their lips, but they hard far from him. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. So you kill before your enemies, and now what you do? Thou, thou shall go out one way against them. So you went out one way against them. Hands up, don't shoot. March on Selma. March on Washington. But what happened? And flee seven waves before them and shall be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. So you flee seven waves from the water hoses, from the dogs, from the pepper gas, from the tear gas. And you went back into this false doctrine. Serving these false gods of wood and stone. Shalom, this I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click 
and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.